Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Montex X1. This is a um, $50 case. It has a tempered glass side panel and comes with four RGB fans. Overall, I'd say this case is pretty good and I would definitely recommend it. There are a few things that I think you should know before building in it that can help the build go faster. I like to see is how good the airflow is. In this case, the airflow is really great. The four included um, LED fans pull in a decent amount of air, and there's plenty of and there's plenty of gaps for them to pull in air from. The whole front panel is this like mesh that kind of has like a 3D thing, and then on both sides there are these grates to help pull in some extra air. On the back, you get a single 120mm exhaust fan that is going to be exhausting the hot air from the CPU. There, on the top, there's also room for two extra 120mm fans that have a, um... Alright, next up for cable management. The cable management in this, um, case is pretty decent. Really, the only two flaws with it that I found are right here, where you route the SATA power and data through for the 2.5-inch drives. You have to do that before you can put the hard drive in for the drive on the left. Um, other than that, around back, you have plenty of room for cable management and a good amount of tie-down points. Um... It is kind of basically designed for you to route all your cables except like the CPU 8 pin up through this main channel that's, a, that's like a bit under an inch deep and then there's basically enough area in the rest of the case for you to route a few cables. Down in the power supply basement here you have room for um, you have room for two hard drives. This hard drive cage is removable if you want some extra room down there. Overall, the cable management is pretty great, and... And they did make the front I.O. look cables look a bit nicer by including all black cables. A lot of cases that I've seen at this price point still have like ketchup and mustard cables for kind of have to put together this huge molex block it's just four pan fans are all powered by molex and they're not rgb they always look like this and there's no effects on the top for io you have your power button your reset button is on the top the button below this doesn't seem to do anything in the manual it says it's for rgb but as you can see i'm pushing it it's not changing the fans or anything. There is like a uh, um, wire going to it, but I just have no idea where that actually goes to. Next you have your um, power LED and your hard drive activity LED. Then you have your mic, your headphone jack, two USB 2 and a USB 3. There's a ton of room for cable management. They do make up for that by having a back panel that is very easy to put on and doesn't have very much panel balls. This kind of goes into these two grooves. You just kind of put a bit of weight on it and slide it forward. Uh, it's, it's, it's hard to do with one hand, but it's really easy to do if you actually have two hands to do it. Here with the side panel put back on, you have basically no side panel bulge, just kind of going around the corners and all the edges, it looks pretty good, and you can't really even tell that there's not a ton of cable management room. This case looks pretty nice with its four front RGB fans, and if you add like a RGB CPU cooler that sort of matches, it does kind of bring it all to look pretty good. The RGB fans are pretty bright, which, and to keep the inside of your PC pretty bright, even in a bright room. Other than that, the fans move a lot of air, and they were able to keep the hardware that I have in here pretty cool. The fans are also pretty quiet, and spin at a decently low 
RPM while still moving enough air. Overall, I really recommend this case, and I'd say it's a pretty good value if you can get it for under 55 bucks. On Amazon at some points, it has been going for as high as like 65 and at that point you can get some cases with real RGB fans. I would like to see Montec come out with a version of this case for like 10 bucks more that has four real RGB fans, but other than that, I can't really find anything that I don't like about this case. Anyways, that's gonna do it for the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.